time for an update on our underwater submersible, but not really getting wet, electric powered. So really not submer. It's time for the vehicle for the Atlanta Steampunk Exposition. All right, in order to make this hinge right here so that it can go up and uh, yeah, I had to cut the bike frame here and here so I can bend this in because the angle was out here. <coughs> and now I can, I'm gonna uh, take a quarter inch plate and uh, make it um, support there so that I can weld all of that in tight. And, uh, and then I'll cut my wood, I'll cut the steel frame here, make another brace for it probably, and uh, put my hinge on. So I've been working uh, a little bit on it, moving some things around, reusing a lot of the pieces that were on the tail section of it. Really starting to ha be happy with my um, dashboard here. All right, so I added some lamp pieces for these to be a little more substantial as thrusters. They looked uh, look pretty cool, I think. And then up here, I kind of closed off this plexiglass area with, you know, leftover pieces. I added some uh, pin, pin striping with a paint pen, which I now regret. Um, I think it looks okay, but um, I regret not doing it more precise instead of, <laughs> I regret freehanding it because my freehanding pinstriping skills are hmm, non-existent. All right, so um, I went and added more um, of the pinstriping with the paint pen and I guess I I'm, it's starting to grow on me, but I'm definitely gonna repaint it and do a better job on it in the future. But for now, it's gonna be good. I wanted to show the uh, the finished for now dashboard. Um, it will have um, it's gonna have lights and switches. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them, cause <laughs> but it will have lights and switches um, for controls. But um, right now it's it's all cosmetic. But let me just show you these. These little puppies here were these two. And this were printed by uh, Stephen Chapman. And they came in the mail today. And I just had to get them uh, installed into my crazy plumbing fixture piece here. And I think, just think they look really, really fantastic. I think I may go back um, and make like a, a brass plate that goes underneath of it just to give it some contrast between the copper and brass and but yeah and then got this mounted here it's a it's strange you know but it'll work forward back left right well, left right <laughs> so it'll work it's just uh not the most optimum place for it and so i i cut this quarter inch piece of steel and it is what's gonna bolt onto the bottom of this caster. It's a really good size caster, nice smooth bearings. So I welded it to this, and then there's um, a second tube that's gonna go over top of it. I'll drill some holes so I can weld that tube to this one and weld it. So I'm trying to make it as strong as possible since it is gonna be working ever. And I think my welds are looking nice and pretty. All right, so this is my bracket that bolts to the coaster wheel and to the um, wood seat. All right, so I got my coaster wheel mounted and some pieces that I'm gonna weld that go from here to here. And once I get that, those welded in to triangulate to strengthen this from, because when I drive, I know I'm gonna hit something. Um, once I have that, then I will cut here and put my hinge on it so that, you know, it'll only go down so far, but it'll hinge up. So if I change incline or whatever, then, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to use some of the extra sheet of copper, this piece of a door, um, kick plate for a door, just to splice that up a bit and I've got another piece that I want to use and make a um another little jet to coming out here 
just to make it look, I don't know, a little cooler. But this is how it looks so far. And I'm very, 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 very close to being done and ready for Atlanta Steampunk Expo. Dun, dun, dun.